are about to witness a spirit-filled, deep and forensic prophetic ministration with the very highly esteemed oracle of God, Dr. Elijah Coffey King. A spirit-filled encounter that will leave you motivated and captivated. Indeed, there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries as written in Matthew 11.25. The man anointed with giant solutions for giant problems. You used to dream that you are eating in your dream. You, you used to eat in your dream. There is something about your foundation that has not allowed people to marry and stay married. Are you aware? Give her the microphone. Are you aware, Mama? That if I talk about foundation, I'm talking about your ancestry, your family. There is something about your family. People in your family are usually very good, especially the women. They have good hearts and they are very supportive. But the spirit of disappointment never leaves them. In the area of marriage. It doesn't allow people to marry and stay. You are divorced. You are married and uh, you are married and you got divorced. But as I'm speaking now, I saw two animals. One was a pig and one was a dog. And in the realm of the spirit, I saw you standing in the darkness, in the darkness. But even in darkness, I could see these animals. One was a pig and one was a dog. The pig represented that no matter how much make money, no matter the kind of employment you get, you will come back to square one and start all over again. And it is not only you. It is something that is fighting all your mother's children. They rise and they fall. They rise and they fall. And that is the spirit of a pig. Because no matter how much you clean a pig, a pig will go back into debt. No matter how much God opens doors for you people, the foundation in the family will fight you people and you will come back struggling again. Struggling to find money to pay rent. Struggling to find money to pay school fees. It is always like that. But it is going... You are living in your father's house now. Ah. The spirit of a dog is the spirit of instability in marriage. These are the two spirits that are fighting your family. And she says, even now, I am divorced and I have moved back into my father's house. Mama, when you were growing up, there is a relative you stayed with. There is a relative you stayed with. Whether it was just a visit or it was a permanent stay, to stay and go to school. There was somebody you stayed with apart from your father and your mother. And food was cooked in the realm of the spirit which you ate and swallowed. And it initiated you in the realm of the spirit. Because even as you are standing here, there are two things. As I put you on the spiritual scan, I am seeing. I am seeing problem with your heart. Number one, I'm seeing problem with your heart. And number two, I am seeing problem with migraine, your head, headache. Migraine, your head, headache. And the Spirit of God said, as a result of the spiritual food you were given to eat, or physical food, which initiated you in the realm of the Spirit, it has been programmed that it is sickness. And the sickness I have mentioned are the sickness that usually goes and come casually but if i have if i don't pray to uproot it it is these two sicknesses that will cause your early demise in this earth the lord said your wealth your breakthrough has been buried in a mud and i should remove it for you and god said he created you he created you with diamond and i'm seeing a stone like a diamond in the mud. You are standing right in front of it. But because you don't have spiritual eyes, you are not able to see beneath the earth that the diamond is there. And the spirit of God says, uh, who is a teacher? My late father was a teacher. I'm seeing somebody in the classroom writing on the blackboard. Writing on, on the blackboard. Whatever it is they took away from your father, who was a teacher and it has affected your destiny financially also 
I pray that Jehovah will restore you today. Restore you today. Do you know the reason why sometimes when you are lying on, on your bed, your feet will be eating you? Your feet. The reason why your feet itches you is because of the spirit of setback. Because the Lord said, there are even occasions where she has had a dream and in the dream, she see herself going back to places she has already lived before. Yes, sir. She has already lived before. So, anytime your feet is itching you, there is a contention of destiny that says she must go forward. And there's a contention of the demons, of the demonic spirit that also say we have tied her, she cannot go forward. So in that case, the prophetic that you know, which I also did when the Lord called me to break away from the curse in my mother's and my father's family was to pray, was to pray. When you pray about one hour and you have entered into the realms, you put your feet in a bucket of water mixed with oil and you leave it there and you pray like another one hour again cook your feet say god any chain that is holding me let it be broken yes, sir. because mama where you are it's not where you are supposed to be where you are is not where you're supposed to be but it's not too late Thank you. it's not too late association by anointing yeah. association by what anointing. as i pray for you today yes, sir. whatever the caterpillar the canker worms and the palmer worms have destroyed yes. Thank you. jehovah god will restore to you Amen. Jehovah God will restore to you. Jehovah God will restore to you. And even though you have been divorced, if you still desire to marry again, which I know you do desire, God will bless you with a husband. God will bless you with a husband. You will marry again? I said what? You will marry again. You will marry again. Today, it's the first time I'm speaking to you and you are speaking to me. Yes, we have never spoken before. So there's no way you have spoken to me or sent me a text message before. No, sir. Clap your hands for Jesus. COVID, you stayed home and you didn't go back to church again. Reopen. You have been going here and there. So even here also you stop and you look for another church. If you look for another church, I will take my prayer. Stay here. Say amen. amen. You heard what she said? I'm staying. Stay here. Stay here. So when God blesses you with a good marriage, you will come back and testify. Amen. Amen. You come back and testify that on this mountain of giant solution, the prophecy you received has come to pass. Can you stretch forth your hand for her? She has already confirmed the prophecy. We just want to pray for her. Stretch forth your hands. Let's pray for our mama. Stretch forth your hands. Let's pray for her. 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 La bayada bayada. God deliver your daughter. God deliver your daughter. Jehovah God deliver your daughter. Jehovah God deliver your daughter. That family curse of marry and remarry. She has never spoken to me before. A beautiful woman like this. How will you be confident and bold to say publicly that this is your family problem? And let God reduce it. Break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse. Pray for her. Pray for her. Jehovah, break the curse. Jehovah, break the curse. Jehovah, break the curse. That family curse of marry and remarry. That family curse of rise and fall. Let her be loose. 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 As I was praying for, as we were praying for her together, I saw an angel of the Lord. Yes. And the angel stood here. And I saw the angel walking towards her. Uh -huh. And I saw the angel enter into the 
two. And I saw the room crowded. Crowded. Yes. And I see bags that are packed on top of bags. Yes. And I see you in that room. And I see the angel also in that room. Yes. And I see the angel putting money into your hands. Amen. Putting money into your hands. Amen. Your son yes. will go back. Amen. Because Jehovah God says he's going to provide. Amen. He's going to provide. The Lord said, tell her, it is a new beginning. Amen. It is a new start. Yes. Your hair will grow again like Samson. Amen. Your hair will grow again like Samson. Amen. I forbid you to be sick. Amen. Speaking against, ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. There is any man of God you are spoken against in the past, or you are speaking against now. Whether the man of God is wrong or he is right, just ask God to say, God, forgive me. I was hurt. Forgive me. I was young. I didn't understand. I was a child. Just ask God honestly to forgive you. But something has gone on. That the Holy Spirit has showed me now. You know, what is the problem with your back? Your spinal cord, your back coming down here. What is the problem? There, there is an arrow in the middle of your spinal cord. The arrow is move it in the realm of the spirit. By the way, have you spoken to me before? Are you sure? So are you not surprised? But the man of God said, what is the problem with your back? As though he knows there's a problem at your back. May Jehovah remove the, it, the demonic arrow from your back. Jesus. Go and never come back. She said she has pain at her back, right? Lift her up again. That's how we work in this house. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Give me holy oil. Pray Jesus. Pray Jesus. Pray Jesus. Pray Jesus. Money Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Money will come. As you are clapping your hands, I give you money. I give you money. I bless you with the money. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.